Hey, hey, this is Tom Middleton. I'm going to cover altimetry today. Um, go down here, click on altimetry, and pull up your latest shot. Today is March 3rd, 2023. And what you need to understand is that this is a measurement of the surface height of the ocean that's taken every day. And it's very, very subtle uh, height differentials that. Uh, are measured through uh, radar instrumentation that they, they shoot the radar beams down through the clouds and bounce them off the surface of the ocean and put the wave heights through an algorithm and uh, develop this this contour chart so each contour is five centimeters or about two inches and each horizontal line of latitude is one degree or 60 nautical miles so they are measuring very very subtle height differentials across vast distances and so uh, <clears throat> zero is mean sea level and um, you'll see that there's a a big red bulge down at the lower left here that's a positive uh, it's like a positive 50 55 uh, big warm core eddy that's uh, peeled off of the loop current and it's a big clockwise rotating current uh, downwelling so it's pushing everything down including the nutrients and uh, the byproduct of these warm core eddies in the loop current are these upwelling nutrient rich cyclones which are depicted here by the dark blue depressions and so for every action there's a reaction you're pushing up water down it's got to come back up somewhere so that's the good thing about these warm core eddies is they do develop these uh, <clears throat> nutrient rich uh, upwelling which are conducive for feeding and nurturing life uh, that brings the nutrients up from the bottom to uh, the surface and intermix with sunlight and that's the beginning of the food chain um, so I'm showing it here off of the Mississippi Delta here in the Gulf of Mexico and the proximity of the loop current and the warm core eddies that spin off of it uh, relative to the Mississippi Delta is a very large reason as to why that this area has such a world-class fishery because it's constantly throwing these nutrient-rich cyclones toward the delta and nurturing all of the fish uh, out in that area. Um, I want to go up here to the upper left corner and uh, that's your action icon, the circle with the, the three horizontal lines and I'm going to go down to the bottom and hit loop image and so now we're going to take the last seven days and put them into motion so you can uh, see how these structures kind of migrate around and grow or dissipate in intensity um, so ideally you want to be in a dark blue uh, depression but um, looking inshore around the double nipple and then uh, the scars inshore there there's it's kind of a transitional zone so um, it's still fine it's not it's not going to be an issue uh, uh, no you just where you where you do not want to be is in the center of that big red bulge down south because that's going to be you'll be fishing the dead sea there's no there's no uh, nutrients there's no life no food and it's all about the food so uh, Another thing is when you see the isobars stacked up so tight in between the, the red and the blue down there that indicates very strong current and um, so it's really neither clockwise or counterclockwise current it's just good strong current in between that warm core ready and the cyclone there. Uh, the fish can be caught up into the uh, warm core ready on the edge there uh, as high as you know positive 30 or 35 um the fish are just in the current they don't know that they're in a warm core eddy so uh, let's take a look at the currents just for grins 
and so you can see uh, you can see that big warm core ready down south here the strong current and then the counterclockwise rotations uh, north of it that extending up into the spars uh, in any case uh, hope that helps you that's that's how altimetry works and how what, how it relates to our fishing